Welcome back to How to Build an F-14 Tomcat. It's uh, Labor Day, which is Monday, September 4th or 5th or something, I don't know. It feels like Sunday to me. Anyways, we had the day off, so I got a little bit of a late, later start than I wanted to, but I got started, that's the whole point. Um, here we got the windscreen. You can see it's nice and shiny. I just got done spraying the PVA over it. Uh, this stuff is just non-hardening modeling clay, or you could even use Play-Doh if you wanted to. I just got this stuff from Walmart. Any hobby, any craft store should have it. Um, here in the back side is just, uh, it's actually made by Rubbermaid. It's just particle board shelf with kind of like a tape cover over it, so it's not really the melamine, melamine stuff that I use on the stab. But it was the right size where I wouldn't have to cut up a three by five sheet so I try, figured I'd try and use it it's essentially the same stuff and it's actually got a smoother finish than the melamine the melamine boards but the windscreen's done the tape is just holding the uh, the board up against the backside of the canopy nice and tight for the windscreen um, over here we've got the nose cone again farting planes and it's been sprayed with PVA that's my cutoff that I was telling y'all to hold on to from the horizontal stab mold that's just one one side of one one half of one mold the other stuff I actually I got to cut it a little bit closer when I did the other three halves so it was actually not even worth keeping parting points for this um, there's, there's no undercuts or anything so I just decided to do it all in one big piece hopefully that doesn't go to bite me in the butt when I go to take that thing out so we'll see <laughs> if anything happens I'll just cut the mold off and then we got the canopy frame again the same shelving material this has been sprayed with pva um not a whole lot different between this and everything else the only thing that's a little different is i'll see if i can't get a close-up of it if you move it where i can get some better light on here you'll notice you've got the parting plane and then the actual part and then the little green stuff in between that's about oh, right at 16th to a 332nd of an inch gap when I put the uh, the parting board in place. I just used regular old uh, hot glue, put three dollop, dollops on the face of the, of the canopy frame and then the aft face of it. And then I put the parting board up against it and I left the, that little bit of a gap around. And you're probably wondering why a gap. You'll find out in a later video once I get this, uh, this laid up and all that good stuff for those who some of you might have an idea why but for those of you who don't I mean cool little trick that I was told by a guy a few years ago um probably wondering why I'm not splitting it in half down the center the full scale does have a slight undercut where it goes from the canopy to the canopy frame on the model it works out to be about 20 25 thousandths of an inch so I mean you're talking about here's a piece of 25 thousandths safety wire if that gives you any idea that's about how big it is and when you look at with your finger I mean it's literally about the thickness of your fingernail so the doing that on the part or on the actual the actual windscreen here is extremely unnoticeable on the on the model and then the actual shape of the canopy out kind of bows out and comes back in it actually gives it the appearance that it has an undercut this one has maybe five thousandths of an undercut, so it's not completely scaling that out output. But the reason why I decided to do it that way is I don't have to split it down the center and have a three-part uh, canopy mold and a canopy frame mold. So I can actually have two pieces, and that's it. <clears throat> so one less parting plane, one less joint, much easier for having to lay it up. Um, when I get ready to... Uh, this is actually going to be the mold to make the plug that the vacuum form clear canopy is going to be pulled from if that makes sense but anyway it's going to be the canopy will be a little bit larger than it because it's going to be basically formed on the outside a little different but uh, anyway this part once it's done will be recycled or just put aside in case I have to have another one and the bottom part here will actually be retained for the, the second half of the mold as that will actually be the actual canopy frame with all the detailing and everything on it 
Same goes with the windscreen. Once it's molded, and I got when I make a plug from that mold, I'll fill it with some sort of foam or casting resin or something. It'll be discarded, and then uh, all the detailing will go go on with the litho plate around the windscreen area. So it's kind of a short video. This one here, I'm gonna let the PVA sit for probably about another 45 minutes to an hour, and then I'm gonna come out here and start slapping some resin on everything. I uh, my Harbor Freight order did not get here in time, so I don't have but one or two brushes left. So I'm gonna have to use some of those really small half inch uh, acid brushes to do some of this stuff and then save the bigger brushes I have for doing the, the epoxy and the actual laminating resin. I'm gonna use a different resin. I'm gonna use the US Composite 635 resin with the pumps for these parts since they're not really production parts. And then for the nose cone, I will probably use the, the AdTech 301 resin that I've been using. The only reason is the uh, US Composite stuff is a little bit cheaper and I've got a partial gallon that's getting close to expiration date that I need to, to use up. So uh, once I get ready to start slapping some epoxy or some laminating resin, I'll pop up a bit, pop up in the video camera, get it running, and I let you guys have a watch. And then later tonight, I'm going to start doing the detail work, that panel line, and then the screw detail on these two fairings. That way, I can get the the vertical fins ready to start molding for later this week. Hopefully, my brushes get here Tuesday or Wednesday. So getting closer, um, flat parting plane boards. So, uh, this is the one I'm gonna use. It's like six inches by 40 inches or so. It's like six bucks for a board. One board will do one flap and I'll just recycle that board for the other flap. So getting closer, um, hopefully I'll have enough material and epoxy and all left to where I can get those two vertical fins done the flaps and the wings done and then these other molds done and then the only thing that will really be left is finishing the fuselage back there where that tail cone is detail the front part of it I got a couple of panels that are lifting up from sitting so long when I was using that original glue from Walmart or Home Depot that didn't stick very well that I got to reattach but uh, yeah I mean that's pretty much where we're at on this Labor Day holiday Monday weekend extension not looking forward to work tomorrow, but you got to pay the bills. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I'll uh, get the video back up when I start slapping some epoxy on everything. Till then, y'all have a good afternoon, morning, wherever you are.